What are you doing right now, Michael? Good morning, Dan. How morning. are you? I'm uh, right now. I'm at the, I'm back at the University of Missouri. I'm working on my master's uh, in education, and I'm also uh, doing media training. Uh, thinking about post football a lot lately, and uh, thinking about getting into broadcasting. Are you taking classes? I am. I am. Uh, I am. I'm. Uh, my class starts. Uh, my first class is next month in October, and uh, two uh, two eight week classes. If Michael Sam was interviewing Michael Sam. <laughs> uh, are you saying uh, interview Michael Sam? Yeah. So, if you were asking you, what's the question? What's the most interesting question that you would want to ask? If I was interviewing myself, um, uh, how uh, how this uh, this past year? How 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 this? Uh, hmm, that's a good question, man. I don't know. <laughs> Won't you ask me a question? <laughs> All right. What 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 happened in the CFL? What happened in the CFL? Well, you know what? Uh, it was the really last call to, to go to the CFL. And I really never, I thought, you know, I never really wanted to go into the CFL. Uh, but I did, and I committed to going. But, you know, uh, I left uh, with some personal issues the first time. And the second time I came back, and I really have got over those issues. And I was dealing with a lot of stuff. And a lot of stuff was on my mind. I think it affected my uh, my my play in the, on the field, so I, I just needed to 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 step away from the CFL completely, and just step away from football until I just get everything together, get back on track. I decided to go back to University of Missouri, go back to school, and also just train at uh, University of Missouri uh, so I can get back into the NFL. NFL teams are going to be concerned about those emotional issues, though. What happened with the CFL? Well, you know, I mean, if you, I, I agree, yes, but if you have been through what I've been through the past year, I think you would take that into consideration. I wasn't ready to get back into football right then and there. Uh, that's why I took my break, and uh, it's good for me. It's really good for me to, to I, I put a lot of focus into my schoolwork, I put a lot of focus on my, into my training. I'm also putting a lot of focus into uh, thinking about post-football, which is uh, media, my media training to get into broadcasting. Now, I know that you never said that there are things that are off-limits, but I want to be fair to you. What, what can you tell What was going on? Was it a relationship, personally, that was getting in the way of you trying to uh, make a roster there with the CFL? I mean, it was a, it was a combination of a lot of stuff. Uh, it was a combination of a lot of stuff. And, uh, and uh, most uh, the most... I want to take from the CFL. I want to thank Montreal All West for everything they've done for me. But you know, I wasn't getting better as a as a football player. That was one of the main keys. I wasn't really getting better as a football player. And uh, after all the stuff, because it was a different defense, uh, defense I wasn't used to, and um, all the stuff I learned from the Rams, the Cowboys. I think I thought I was you, uh, losing that that technique at Montreal. Do you know how much better you sound now than when you first got to the Rams? Just, just, just relax. I mean, you were so uptight with the Rams, and and I know you wanted to be a football player, but you're so much more relaxed now. Why? I mean, I'm, my head is really focused. I'm really a focused uh, uh, man right now. Uh, the past year was, you know, was and no one could uh, predict what happened last year, and uh, but. Now I'm so focused on uh, all, I have a lot of opportunities up here, and I wanted to make sure that, that I can do those opportunities and make sure that I'm capable of doing them. He's uh, Michael Sam, former SEC Defensive Player of the Year, trying to get back into the NFL. Let's go back to college. I give you a mulligan. What do you do differently, if anything? Are you talking about the, the moment I uh, graduated? Yeah. Yeah. I would, you know, I would have had. Uh, I wish I, I really do wish I have no regrets whatsoever. Okay, but if I can go back and change a couple of things, I would wish that I had my voice. To, uh, uh, and what I mean by voice is speak up towards my advisors because my advisors may dictate a lot of stuff, and I, I was really focused on trying to make a team, uh, which I did really well uh, in the preseason with the Rams, and uh, that was my job was to focus on trying to make an NFL roster, 
they will focus on the outside the field stuff. And I wish I would have paid more attention to what was going on and, uh, and make the decisions because I, I know what's best for myself. And no one can tell me what's best for me but myself. Give me something specific that they told you that came back to haunt you. Well, I wouldn't say anything came back to haunt me. The uh, Oprah but, documentary? No, I mean, I thought, I, I don't know if you saw it, but I thought the, uh, Oprah did a really well job on, on presenting. Uh, to, everyone got confused and thought it was going to be a, like a TV show. It was a documentary, and no one forgot about that. I thought they did really well. But just a lot of certain things about um, maybe that was the wrong time for them to announce that. I would say that. Uh, also, I had a game plan of when I graduated, uh, when I came out on February 9th. I wanted to kind of push back that. And we came out a little too early for my taste. I, I, I wanted to come out after I made an NFL roster. But I, it wasn't really wasn't supposed to be public, but it was just supposed to be to the team, as I did at University of Missouri. But certain things you can't always uh, hope for you to get because – Certain things happen. A lot of media people already knew, and I think we have to push it back earlier than expected. Was somebody going to break the story that you were coming out of the closet? Well, I, we believe so. We believe okay. so. After uh, after senior uh, the senior bowl in uh, Alabama, a lot of reporters was coming up to me and uh, saying, "Hey, whenever you want to tell your story, we hope we we want to help you tell your story." And I was so naive. I didn't. I thought the only people that knew was just the zoo. Uh, and but there were so many, yeah. <laughs> there were so many national uh, media uh, news that knew about my story. And uh, and I think that we. I, I wanted to be the one who told my own story. I didn't want to. Don't want to to uh, tell it for me. But if you didn't come out, do you think you'd be on a roster right now? I. I you know what? I'm not going to say. Uh, if I came out or not, but I mean, I mean it you, probably would have enhanced my, uh, probably wouldn't have been better for me to, if I didn't come out to, uh, I would be on the roster. But as I said, I have no regrets whatsoever. But you had more impact as a person, even though it, it might have harmed you professionally. Like, so there, there was a trade off there. And, and, and I look at your age to, to do what you were doing, and I, I can't imagine putting myself in that position. Um, but you, you were you were helping one part of you and probably hurting another part of you. Did you understand that at the time? Well, you know what I, I don't. I didn't see it hurting me uh, as a professional because when I came out my senior year, that is my best year, and I'm uh, people knew about me and I, I had the best season. But that's uh, college, though. That's college, that's Michael. True. Yeah, that's not the true. NFL. No, it's not. But how many I played with a lot of first rounders in college who are not first rounders in uh, in NFL right now. So I mean, I I, I still and I did well, and in, in as I said, I did well in the preseasons, uh, owning my truth and being out in, to the public. So I would say it didn't hurt me professionally, uh, at least not my my play. But uh, but I mean, I helped so many people just by owning my truth. I helped myself actually too. And uh, as I said, I'm going to say it again. I have no regrets for what, my, uh, what I did back in February night. Do you think? Do you think the NFL wanted you to be drafted? Uh, that that is that's a question uh, that I can't answer. I have no idea. Do you think the Rams really wanted you? You know, I, it was uh, a really. It, I, I I I went to uh, the last minute. But, you know, the Rams, I did so well with the Rams, and it was a tough defensive line to go to. It was really hard for me. To, I actually wish I went undrafted. Yep. Because then, again, I could choose a team who, who needed some really good pass rushers who was uh, uh, weak on the depth chart on the uh, D-line. It was just so tough going to the Rams with that uh, D-line. And it was, uh, I think it was a really hard decision for them to, to make and uh, but I, I learned so much from that team, and it carried on to the Cowboys, and um, and until my my short brief time with the Cowboys. What did you uh, when you look back on having the cameras there on draft day? Was that smart to have the cameras there for you? Well, you know what? Uh, as a, I mean, a lot of teams, you know, a lot of players that year who uh, they had cameras on them. 
I mean, I live, I, 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 I came out for a reason. I came out because I didn't want to hide anything about my life anymore. And I, I say yes. I mean, I, if they wanted to film me, I was like, go ahead and film me. It's, it's a historic moment. Mm-hmm. So, and I want everyone to see that historic moment. And, and if you're, I think you're kind of trying to go towards the kiss. Yeah. If, <laughs> so if I came out so for this real reason, like, if someone who is straight who comes out and kiss their girlfriend, why I can't do the same? Did you guys forget that I came out gay? I, like I didn't understand that. I thought <laughs> it was, I was like, did you guys? Did everyone forget? <laughs> <laughs> well, we shouldn't have been surprised, but people were. And then, you know, I don't know if it changed then, but I think that's when it people sort of woke up and went, wait a minute. He's he's going into the NFL and and he just came out of the closet and I'm I'm telling people do you realize that there are gay athletes in the NFL he's not the only one <laughs> and the, and those those are people we don't know how many how many gay football players talked to you after you were drafted or after that that moment not only uh, uh, gay athletes who talked to me in in, in the NFL and other sports but uh, just uh, normal. Uh, uh, athletes in general and, and football players, they reached out to me. They congratulations. Uh, we support you. Uh, we believe in everything you did. Uh, Chris Long uh, was one of the first people who texted me from the Rams. Mm-hmm. They're welcome to the team. Well, we got your back. I mean, I got so much support from uh, athletes uh, and NFL players. It was, it was really, really, I felt really safe going to that league. I said it at the time. I didn't care what your sexuality was. I just wanted to know if you could play. And you don't accidentally become the defensive player of the year in the SEC. Hopefully somebody gives you a chance because you can play football, not because of any ulterior motive. And and I, I hope you get that opportunity at least one more time, Michael. That's all I, that's all I want, Dan. It's, it's, it's a really trying to get and prove myself that I am a football player, a damn good one, too. And uh and I, I want to prove myself within this league uh, because it's, it's, it's not about me anymore. It's just I just want to make sure that I, uh, that I know that I can do this and I can play in this league. Do you have your Montreal Alouettes jersey? Do I? I do. I do have it. Could I put it in the man cave? <laughs> you, yes, yes, you can. I, okay. I'll, uh, you give me the, the address okay. and stuff, we'll, I'll, I'll send that to you. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll uh, put you on hold, and Fritzy will give you the address here. If you'll assign it, we would love to uh, put it up in the man cave. Absolutely. Uh, and and I'll, I'll, I'll offer this if it ever comes up and you decide to go into this business. And if I can help you, I'd be more than happy to help you, at least if there's advice or something down the road. If you want to, This is a tough business, too. But if you're looking to do that and you're serious about it, I'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you, Dan. I really do appreciate that. All right. Good luck with the uh, attempt again with the NFL, Michael. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. All right. Michael Sam, Montreal Alouette's jersey, heading to the man cave here.